Protocol analysis is a useful tool to easily decode serial communication. To do that, you can either use the quick access menu and then press decode, or you can press the decode button on the oscilloscope. And then you can decode up to four different buses at once. We're just going to choose decode one. And then from here, we can choose our type. We're currently looking at an I squared C signal, so we're going to go ahead and select I squared C. And then I've already set up the triggers so that we're triggering on our signal. So I will now just copy the trigger over, and this will copy over, basically set up that D7 is clock and D6 is data, just to associate with these two lower signals. And now once I've done that, I can turn the bus on. And we'll now start to see it, we'll now see it now start to display a decoded signal. And within this, I can now press display, and I can change our format. Currently we're looking at it in hex, but we can change that to say ASCII and we'll see it read Regal across the screen. Let's actually change our scaling a little bit on that, just so it's a little easier to read. And now within here, we can then view our data this way. We can also use our event table. And once we, let's scale out a little bit, and we'll now see quite a few different decode events. We'll turn our event table on, and we'll see it start to decode our data, and we can also change our format from hex to ASCII as well. We have our same different formats. And then we have a couple different views. We can view the signal either in packet form, detail, or a payload form. So let's actually jump over to payload real quick. And this allows us to see all the data on the screen being decoded all at once, which is a great way to view really long streams of data where you can actually see it in green on the screen, but now you can see it in the event table. We can also then, if we hit stop our oscilloscope and press the stop run button, we can then press on packet, and now we can see it all in correlation to our trigger event in terms of time, but we can also see it's a read-write packet and then the address of where it's going to in the data, and if it was acknowledged or not. And we can say, go ahead and select one, so let's go ahead and select the third one down, and then we can press jump to. And within this, we'll actually move on the oscilloscope our trigger point, so we've actually jumped to that packet, so that, say, we then exit our event table, we can then change our scaling in, and further view it, which is an easy way to move around on long serial communication data to allow, us, allow you to see if there's any parts of your signal that have errors, and once you find one, easily basically view it on the screen and see if there's any problems with the actual bits themselves or if it's something else that might be causing it.